hi and welcome to Suns TV as we get ready to take on AFL powerhouse the Essendon Bombers at Metricon Stadium. Well once again we're coming to you from Dreamworld, the official theme park of the Gold Coast Suns and as usual we have a packed show so let's get started. This week we catch up with Michael Riscatelli and have a chat about leaving the Lions to come to the Suns. We talk tactics with head coach Guy McKenna and select some golden moments from last week's match against the Saints. All that and more on Suns TV. Each week we're giving you the chance to chat to your favourite Gold Coast Suns players during our social network segment. Simply email your question along with your name and the name of the player or coach you want to interview to digital at goldcoastfc.com.au. It's the same deal if you follow on Facebook or Twitter. Post your questions and they'll answer them on next week's social network segment. And if you're not at the game, it's no drama. You can still be a part of the game day action. Our social media crew will be busy chatting to fans on Facebook and Twitter. We'll check out social network a little later in the show. But if you want to be a part of today's game, jump onto our Facebook page or use today's at Gold Coast FC hashtag. Two games into the season and today the Gold Coast Suns take on Jimmy Hurd's Bombers. What's coach Guy McKenna's plan of attack? Well, we found out when we caught up with Bluey to talk tactics. We certainly spoke about pride of the game, about our effort um, and our accountability and um, yeah, clearly early in the game we got rattled, uh, pushed off the ball too easily and St Kilda are able to dominate the game. And so we're, we're certainly looking at uh, uh, many ways to try and uh, remedy that. So uh, our, our attack on the ball early has to be spot on this weekend. You know, there's elements uh, where we actually held and, and, and sort of um, tied up St Kilda, if you like, in our front half, but uh, it just wasn't uh, acceptable to, to start like that, to finish like that. Hallelujah. He left that, Brown I think caught him out, Bock gathers, thinks about a nine, this will be for nine, it's outside the paint, that's a ripper! Oh yeah, we'd love his uh, love him and his brother and his twin brother and his his father as well to come out and play for us. But yeah, he, he look he's he's certainly going to inject some confidence into the group. He's not he's not going to be the the answer for e everything that's been going on so far. But he's certainly going to help provide a bit of stability around the football and, and his use coming off half back or going forward to take some catches. Yeah, he's been a, a, an ornament. I mean, he's you know you talk about how you want your players to play. I think his team care, his ability to to get off his opponent, which in, in some cases may sacrifice his own game, but uh, for the betterment of his team, he'll do that impact contest. We need to respect him, but also when the, that for, first ball's bounced, uh, we need to see if we can tear him apart as well. I think it, it shows to the group too that at that level with those players there that the systems and structures we got in place work. Um, it's that step up to that uh, elite level now where the boys need to take themselves into that ultimately becoming an elite professional. It's just pushing up and, and putting some pressure on the senior players and if you don't perform well you're going to lose your spot. We think at home, with our two lessons hopefully we've learnt from rounds one and two, that the boys have that steely resolve to make sure that we can crack in and, you know, and own parts of the game for longer. Um, as you said, it's just been too fleeting. It's almost like our start of last year. So uh, we just need to get in, win the footy on our terms, control the game for longer and, and get the opposition on the back foot, which we haven't been able to do in the first two rounds. This segment brought to you by Host Plus, the industry super fund of the Gold Coast Suns. Each week we'd love you to get involved in a segment called Suns Gold. We'll put together three top quality performances and we'd love you to nominate your Host Plus Quality Performer of the Week. To enter, visit the Suns Gold tab on our Facebook page and select either A, B or C to be in the running to score an awesome Gold Coast Suns merchandise pack. And remember, if you're looking for a quality industry super fund, contact our foundation partner, Host Plus. He can get and go. Have a bounce. Thinks about a second, takes them on, caught! Run down by Prestia. Crept up, handball just in time to Warnock. He makes some space as well. Weller, slick, over the top. Bouncing ball, collected by Shaw on the run. Ablett might go again. Oh, damn! Oh. Huge leap from Ablett. Over a tall like uh, Gilbert as well. That's a very, very good mark. It's a pack mark. Over the top. Matera give it up to Hall, and now Russell can run in, needs to collect it first, sidestep a couple, hallelujah, Gold Coast get there first, can get and go, Weller, Smith, shoots it sideways, Matera, he gets his chance, and they get one back. Gets it up to Smith to Adler. 50 from goal, drives long, 
Oh, that is splendid. He is a superstar. He's as good as any midfielder I've seen in the game, oh. and he's doing it against quality opposition. Open forward line for Matera. Has some one-on-ones. Campbell Brown wants it long. He goes short to Prestia. On the overlap, the runner is Matt Shaw. Campbell Brown needs to show some experience and drives it home. Well, I hope you're enjoying Suns TV coming to you from Dreamworld, where you can secure a Dream Passport for just $89.99 online. That includes entry to both worlds until the 22nd of June 2012. Head to dreamworld.com.au for more info. Now, after the break, one of our most popular segments, Favourite Suns. G'day Suns fans, Tom Nichols here. Gold Coast is famous for its music and concerts like the Foo Fighters last year. So uh, today we're just going to get around the boys and ask them about their taste in music, what they like and don't like. Yeah, I've been told some of your favourite artists like Britney Spears and that, Spice <laughs> Girls, but can you shed some light on any others? Um, yeah, they're probably in the top five. <laughs> Sorry mate. <laughs> artist Chris Brown. Yeah. Um, is that because he's dancing or he's miming? A bit of both. Very talented man. Justin Bieber. Yeah, Beebs. Um, yeah, love Beebs. I haven't really heard Fraser's music. Um, I don't think they invented instruments back in his day, so uh, <laughs> that's probably why. Heard you uh, like a bit of Drake, Drizzy. Is your favourite artist at the moment? Yeah, definitely. Oh, a bit of, bit of Johnny Cash, mate. Johnny Cash? Oh, yeah. Ring of Fire or can you um, sing it for us? Or? Take a shot for me. Oh. Yeah, all like that. Um. <laughs> Dave Swallow here wearing his footy shorts, as you can see. Hasn't taken them off since Saturday. No, you got a good wife, or you got a bit of um, Regina Spector, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. all the rowboats, yeah. Regina Spector. Yeah. Massive fan of One Direction. Oh, yeah, you are? Yeah, yeah heading Did you get concert. tickets? You got tickets? Yeah, I got tickets. Right. Yeah. How much that set you back? I uh, bought premium, so it was about 750 bucks. So just loose change then? Yeah, yeah just loose change. Got it out of the loose change. Uh, who do you reckon's got the uh, worst taste in music at the club? Oh, Jared Brennan, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'd say no. so. Why is it? Oh, Nickelback every day in the gym. So, mate, I'm sick of that. Like, the same songs every day. Yeah. Two, so fresh, doesn't he? 2009 or something. Worst taste of music would have to be Nathan Carlos, the physio. Ah, okay, yeah. Terrible. There he is. Terrible. The good DJs on, say, Tunes Tuesday would be... Sorry, mate. <laughs> Uh, DJ Swallow's pretty good, so David Swallow's quite good. Luke Russell's quite good. Yeah. Oh yes, the uh, another poor, poor performer yeah. in the house with uh, Lukey Russell and uh, Mr. Swallow is Piers Flanagan. Yeah. Highly average. <laughs> we got the doc here, Barry Rigby. Just wanted to ask a couple of questions. Sorry, mate. Just yeah, about mate. music. Uh, what's your favourite artist or song at the moment? Um, <laughs> I don't mind the Katy Perry one. What is it? Oh, okay. Um, yeah. uh, fireworks? Yeah. Fireworks? Yeah. Could you give us a little uh, no, rendition of it? No. Are you sure? Not a chance. How about now? Michael Bublé is my uh, favourite oh, okay, artist. Yeah. yeah, you're a smooth man, Barry. <laughs> no, Thank no, you. Thanks. <laughs> For the very latest news and information and to access brand new Suns TV content every day, just head to goldcoastfc.com.au. You can check out 2012 membership options, player profiles, detailed coach interviews, plus heaps more. If you're a fan of Facebook, make sure you like our Gold Coast Suns Facebook page. It opens up a whole new world of competitions and chances to win exclusive Facebook prizes. If you're looking to immerse yourself in the game day conversation, simply follow at Gold Coast FC and include our match day hashtag each week to get in the game. Very exciting for me and um, yeah, just looking forward to, I guess, 
hopefully you know the team can have some a bit more success than we've had in the, uh, this year and hopefully the next couple of years. For Swallow, oh, set it up nicely for the jump, but Bunnell's on his own. Yeah, I just think um, you know the the young group that we've got. Um, obviously, I know it's going to be frustrating for fans uh, you know, at the moment anyway. And, um, I just think, uh, yeah, it's just a lot of talent and, you know, if we can stay together and um, you know, build, build this group and keep going, I think, you know, we, yeah, we've got a very exciting future, so um, I guess that was one of the main reasons and, yeah, just being happy living up here on the coast and, um, you know, I've got a, a good, good support network now and, yeah, just, yeah, loving it at the moment. To swallow on the burst. Oh, tricky to go here. Yeah, Last year I thought I was, I was consistent, but, uh, you know, never really... Never really reached the you know, heights I wanted to get to, and I guess just uh, yeah, just keep playing, you know, I'll keep getting better and learning the game because it's as I said before, it's a hard. I'm learning now; it's a hard industry, and um, you know, never, no game's easy. So I guess um, yeah, keep improving, and I guess uh, maybe learn a few more positions, maybe come off half back, and even go forward at some time. So. Could stop the bleeding. It's definitely very challenging at the moment, you know. Um, I guess AFL's it's it's a tough industry and um, you know we're in a unique situation that we've got so many young guys and um, it's just hard to I guess stick to structures to you know for a whole for a whole game and um, you know if we can I guess start to show a bit more effort and um, you know we're definitely going to challenge some some opponents uh, during the year. I'm Henry Shade and you're watching Suns TV. If you're a mega fan of sport and big events, the new Mega Fan app is a powerful friend. It's the essential insider's guide to all of Queensland stadiums, including Metricon Stadium and the Gabba. Mega Fan puts information about the latest events at your fingertips. Find your gate, your seat, the nearest bar, ATM, transport, it'll even tell you the way home. Mega Fan puts Queensland's best sporting arenas and entertainment venues in your pocket. It's everything you need to know before you attend a concert or a game of AFL, cricket, rugby union, rugby league or soccer. This awesome free app gives you loads of useful info about all nine major Queensland venues, including Metricon Stadium. The mega fan features include the ability to browse upcoming matches and events, check stadium maps and seating plans, view transport options for each venue, keep an eye on live scores, view stadium food and drink menus, and purchase tickets online. You can even view great sporting moments from each of the stadiums. Mega fan, where Queensland comes to life. Always hard, all right. Um, we've identified a few areas that we uh, that we definitely need to work on, and um, yeah, one of them is uh, definitely our starts that we uh, we need to work on. Um, yeah, the boy, boys are feeling all right. Um, we'll uh, hopefully train uh, better this week and uh, come up with a better performance against Essen. For us, the key is, uh, as you said, the recovery part of it, and uh, just come down to the beach is good to, to get a bit of a swim in and uh, loosen up the body. It's tough. It's tough for the young blokes. It's tough for the club. Um, I suppose it's tough for the entire playing group, but uh, I suppose for you know for the senior guys, it's pretty important to keep the group together, um, try and get that unity tight. And um, we're all going through it. It's just one of those things that happen. And um, the more times that we can get around and and, uh, and get around to each other, keep us uh, keep us intact, and um, the better off we're going to be. We're going to have you know beats like that all the time, but um, you know, we're just going to try and uh, try and keep it. Uh, together and, and hopefully we can get a win this week. Try to shoot a handball out for Nell. Gets it up to Smith to Adler. 50 from goal, drives long. Oh, that is splendid. He is a superstar. You just got to keep keep it up, keep the troops up, keep training uh, pretty hard. Um, all the uh, tactics that we've, uh, that we've implemented into the, into the side that we've just got to keep up and keep and keep persevering with uh, with what we've got and, uh, and hopefully try to have a better start. Ablett's been a gun. He's a freak. Unbelievable. <laughs> Obviously a great side. Um, last year they, uh, they put on a clinic in the first quarter and that's one of the areas that we need to definitely work on and that's going to start with, uh, with us, the midfielders, to get our hands on it and try and get to the forwards.
stay with us after the break. We'll get into the social network and we'll catch up with Suns NE AFL coach, Sean Hart. You don't have to live on the Gold Coast to show your support for the Gold Coast Suns. Memberships start from just $50 and our membership team have designed a host of fantastic packages to suit every situation and budget. Simply visit goldcoastfcmembership.com.au to secure your 2012 Gold Coast Suns membership and remember that members are the lifeblood of our club. Make sure you check out the Gold Coast Suns shop on the club website for the very latest in club apparel and supporters gear. Or you can check out the club's shop on our Facebook page to view the entire 2012 range and remember to take advantage of our Facebook Friday specials. This week the Gold Coast Suns NE AFL side are at home to Morningside. We caught up with coach Sean Hart to talk structures. It was a super result for our reserves team. Uh, we went down there, we were challenged early, I thought by the pace of the game and the pressure that Sydney brought, but after quarter time, let's say, our, our guys brought the same sort of pressure at them. He was outstanding, he just showed everything that uh, we, we knew he could do pretty well and uh, he, I literally would have, would have thought he could have got the 3-2-1 and one on the weekend. He was so far above anyone else on the football field, I believe, and uh, just really clean, really smart and his, uh, his second efforts and, and follow-on from his, uh, his first possession was outstanding. He's had a great attitude about playing Neffel footy and also he, uh, he has just shown the young guys the way to go and uh, I've been incredibly impressed with his attitude towards, uh, towards being the reserves and I think probably he's, uh, he's close to a recall uh, based on what he's done. I think it helps keep the spirit up. It's really tough to deal with poor losses. Uh, having been in the AFL industry for so long and having started out at this very ground for the Brisbane Bears years ago, we got pounded uh, week after week, and particularly on the, on the road in Melbourne. We found it very difficult as a young squad to win. You've got to learn to uh, despise the fact that the game is so one-sided and determined to, to do better. Our guys have just got to do that this week and uh, I know we can get a better result. Essendon won't make it easy on us. I, I, can, I can sense the AFL is seeing the Gold Coast at the moment struggling um, and it's up to us now to respond. Every player has to lift, has to find what they're not doing for the team that they need to start doing. Right, this is a question from Joseph Connor from our Facebook page for Mav. How do you prepare as a defender uh, as far as diet and treatments go? Yeah, uh, thanks Joe for the question mate. Um, a few physio appointments throughout the week as you can see uh, and um, a couple of massages and uh, study up on uh, who I'm playing on for the week and um, talk to line coaches and, yeah, and just get as, uh, as well prepared as you can, I suppose. Yeah, thanks for the question, Laura. I didn't actually see it at the, when it happened, but I um, saw photos afterwards and saw the replay and it was pretty gross, so I still can't, still can't look at it. Um, Dave Stoll actually has it as his background because like, I also think it's pretty tough, but nah, not me. I want to eat my food. Uh, Seb losing his teeth was pretty funny, Laura. Um, obviously, it didn't look too good, but um, yeah, one of these things happened in footy. Uh, but next time, hopefully, he'll be wearing a mouth guard and won't happen, so yeah, it doesn't look like a, a goose when he uh, takes photos next time. Cheers. Uh, great question, Fiona. Uh, being a football player is a full-time job these days. We're at the club. Uh, probably about five days a week uh, and during that time we're doing anything from skills to weights just to recovery. Um, an average day consists of uh, we get here in the morning, do a bit of mobility and we do skills, uh, weights in the afternoon and then recover after that. We usually uh, get out at about four or five o'clock just depending on our program but uh, yeah it does get pretty hectic some days. Well, that's all we have time for on today's show, but we'll be right back here next week on 7 Mate. And don't forget to hit up our Facebook and Twitter pages to join in on the conversations. And remember, if you're planning to attend any of the Gold Coast Suns' 11 home games this season, make the most of your visit to Australia's undisputed home of entertainment. Indulge your senses as you explore the diversity of this vibrant city and discover why the Gold Coast truly is famous for fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.